And so this is the Adventures of Sunshine's Farm. It is on itch.io. And you can pick this up. It's currently on sale for $250 USD. But normally it goes for $550 USD. Um, and I want to thank the developers for reaching out to me uh, via email and providing me with a copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. So it doesn't look like it used controller, so we're gonna mouse it. We're gonna keyboard and mouse this. So for those of you who like to hear, um, click the clap cheer and look. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead. We're gonna get started. What's your name? Your name is Ready Set. See if it'll let me do the IG. Nope. So we're gonna go with Ready Set and hit done. So this is an early access game. So I will read this. This game is in early access, which means it's still in development, and you can experience bugs, unfinished features, performance issues, lost saved data, and more things that can disrupt your game experience. Please join our community and give us your feedback to help the development of this game. Thanks. So this is an early access game, which is totally fine. Just know that there may be some bugs and what you're seeing of this footage may or may not be in the final version of the game. I like the music in this too. The music's pretty chill in this as well. Ready, set, welcome to the Adventures of Sunshine's Farm. This is your control desk where you can personalize your player, select the level that you want to play, and so on. Let's start with creating your player. Click, click on the shirt box on the left to create your custom player. Okay. And right now, this uses keyboard and mouse. Um, just so you know. So I can go this route or this route. I like this one, so we're gonna go with this one. And we do get some customization. <sighs> That's cute, but I like this dress. I also like this one too, but I like this dress. So we're gonna do this dress. We got shoes. We're gonna do these shoes. Next. If I change the hat, I can. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. So I'll hit done. This music is really relaxing. <laughs> Ready, set. Please click on the book to open it and select the chapter that you want to play. Okay, so click on the book. Oh! That is really cool. I like that. Well, we want to do the farm, right? Yeah, we want to do the farm. But apparently you can go through the attack of the bunnies. And then chapter three is coming soon. So we'll try to do chapter one, at least. It looks like maybe there's 15 levels for this. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this goes. Um, okay. Hi, Ready Set. Welcome to the Adventures of Sunshine's Farm. 
On the right side is the inventory where you can select the seeds that you want to grow and the tools that you can use. On the left side is the task list, which will show the number of vegetables that you have to grow, okay? On the bottom left corner, you can see the number of coins you have to buy seeds and the progress and the progress of vegetables that are growing. Now, select the carrot seeds from the inventory, then click on the growing patch to grow the carrot. Okay. Clouds will try to cover the growing patch to stop you from growing the carrot, okay? Hold right click and move the mouse to rotate the floating land to avoid the clouds to cover the growing patch, okay? Now start playing and grow all the vegetables from the task list. Happy farming! Pretty dot. Oh, that's cute. I grew a carrot. Okay, so it's kind of like a little puzzle game. This is gorgeous. And this is on H.io. So it's a puzzle game. That's cool. I like puzzle games, though. I like games that I can kind of relax to. So we'll do a couple of levels of these. Um, we'll do as much as we can before 1230. And then we will switch over to the other game. And again, as I have stated, any of the games that you do see tonight will be highlighted. So you can watch those highlights here on Twitch, on my YouTube channel, as well as my website, ReadySetIndieGames.com. Oh no, did it freeze? I hope it didn't. I was really getting into this. It might have frozen. We'll give it a few more minutes to see. I hope it didn't freeze. I'm hoping it didn't freeze. It looks like it may have frozen. <laughs> I was really getting into this too. Okay. It did. It froze. Um... I'm going to see if I can wait for the program to respond. If not, um, let's do this. Let's try to rerun it and see if that fixes it and see if we can go to the next level. If not, then that's going to be the end of the uh, coverage for this one. But let's see if we can try it. Maybe it was just a, a little bug. So we'll give it another go. And again, do not forget that this is an early access. So when you play early access games, this is the type of stuff that you kind of, you can expect. So it's nothing new for me to play an early access game. Let's just see if it can go past that. If it goes past that, that's fine. We'll probably do one more level and then switch over to our last game though. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so we have to do five carrots. Is it not gonna let me do the... That, this is actually pretty fun though. So yeah, it looks like you can only go row three at a time. I like 
the concept of this too. Like the whole concept is cute too. Like having to move the like land to um, get it to um, grow is pretty cool. Okay, so we can actually, so it seems like it was just a bug there. Let's try to do a couple more of these. Um, we'll do another um, couple levels, and then, like I said, then we'll switch to the last game of the evening. But I do like this one. This is This one's really relaxing and cute. So we have to do four because they can't grow. So wait, this one you can only grow one at a time. Yeah, this one is only letting you grow one at a time. That's interesting. So it might have been a bug with some of these, then that's fine. Because again, we want the developer to know. Like I put one there, but it's not growing. Another thing too, which would be cool for this, at least I think would be cool, is if they added like a time thing to it, where you had so much time to like grow it. I think that would be cool. Like if you were doing say like an endless mode, having no time would be great. But if you're playing, I would like to see kind of like a timer there. To like, you have so many, you know, um minutes to kind of like you know grow the um, plants that would be cool or if not that then a timer that times how long it took you to do it that would be a nice feature for the game and this one will probably be our last puzzle for this and if you do purchase this from itch.io it does look like there is a chapter one and a chapter two so far so this is still, oh, okay, so now we're getting into different um, vegetables here. Or fruits, are they fruits or vegetables? Uh, let's see. Yeah, that corner one is not working. And then we need a radish. Like it's weird. So it's like, it looks like the max that you can grow is three, even though there's four plant like plots. Think we might get it. Okay, looks like we may have time for one more. But I'm gonna play it up until uh, about 12.30 and then we'll switch over to, like I said, the last game. Which I'm still trying to debate on if I'm gonna do uh, Twitch integration for that one or not, or if I'm just gonna play it again. We'll see though. Now this might actually be our last puzzle though. 
Beat, never mind. Look, there it is. Beat the clock challenge. So the first four levels don't have a timer, but this one does. So beat the clock challenge. Okay. Grow all the vegetables in a given time. Good luck. Okay. So it actually did do what I was saying would be cool to do. All right. So that's cool. It actually does have a a mode for that, which is cool. Yeah, and then it's like for some odd reason it glitches to where you can't use Like it glitches and you can't. So we're probably not gonna beat it. We might, we'll see. I like the concept of the game and once uh, the developers get some of the bugs worked out, this is gonna be a really fun game. Nailed it. Round complete. So it does add a clock mode. But I and then too, I still would like to see kind of like an endless mode with this. And so we unlocked chapter two as well. So alrighty. But This, again, is the Adventures of Sunshine's Farm, I have to say it slowly. Um, and it is going for $5.50 on itch.io, uh, but it is currently on sale for $2.50. So, if you like what you see of the game, then without a doubt, go ahead and pick it up. And again, thank you to the developers for reaching out to me. And providing me with a copy of the game. I really enjoyed it. I do like it. Um, and like I said, again, this is an early access game. So what you see of this footage may or may not be in the final version of the game. So.